Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. And as promised, I'll let you know everything I'm thinking and everything I'm seeing out there. And I've seen some chatter about the uh, possibility of a storm, tropical storm forming in the Caribbean or the Gulf as we get into next week. So I just want to start with that. You've got things to do. you got some questions. I'm going to dive into that. Now, this is a map I showed you earlier, uh, really a month ago, about the two spots we'd watch for some of the first areas of development. And that's really holding true. So everything is uh, really coming into line. But this is what's happening next week. As expected, there's going to be a buildup of rain and storms in the Caribbean. And yes, anytime we get that with these water temperatures, that does raise my attention. I want to get into the American model, the European model, and then show you what I'm seeing aside from the models in this video. So this is the spot we're going to watch first. And then I'll, of course, get into the forecast. Now, here is the American model. It's called the GFS. Now, this is one of many models out there. It's, and they're, they're updated daily, many times a day. And sometimes they show uh, certain things and then they don't. But this is the general area we'll be watching for the possibility of some development. So what I want to do here is take you out in time. So I'm not going to, uh, we'll go hourly in a moment. But let me just bring into the weekend and stop it here. So this is our Saturday afternoon. Again, this is model number one, the American model. And you see the rain building here near Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. There's one surge there and there could be another surge of rain to the south of there. Now, uh, that is good news for parts of Central America. Hopefully some of that rain could creep in where we have drought conditions. So the tropics can be a very good thing this time of year. So along, uh, nothing else really develops into a hurricane. But as we work our way into uh, the next week, this is by late on Monday, you see that surge of moisture here really building again near Jamaica. So at the least, I do believe something like this will happen where there's going to be a buildup of tropical moisture, which means we're going to be dealing with a flood threat. So regardless of if something gets a name or not, we're going to be dealing with a flood threat. Now, most of the modeling doesn't show this becoming a name system. There's a lot of models out there and I look at a lot of stuff. Here's the American model. The American model occasionally will want to show this becoming a tropical storm. Then it will back off and then six hours later, it'll show it becoming a tropical storm again. Point being, the model doesn't know and I'm not sure because that's so far out in time. This would be a week from now. But what I am watching is for the higher chance of rain, so that's the first thing, a much higher chance of rain in this zone here, Central, Western Caribbean, and then potentially lifting up toward the north, toward the Bahamas and Florida of next week. Will it develop? Not sure yet, but it does have my attention. Now, here's the, so this, that model is a little more aggressive, saying, yeah, sometimes it looks like this could become a tropical storm. This here is the European model. In the short term, watching this buildup of moisture that we've had in the Northern Caribbean, which I'll get to in a moment. Now, the European model is not showing signs that this is going to become a tropical storm. So this is the second model we're taking a look at. Taking you out in time, just going out in time, here's a Cuba, Jamaica, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, St. Lucia, just to orient you, get over toward uh, Puerto Rico. This here is late on Saturday again. Like the American model, it's showing the increased moisture around, which in my opinion, at least in the short term, that's a very good thing since a lot of us need the rain. And maybe not, of course, in Jamaica where we've had some flooding yesterday, but as a whole. Now, as we work our way deeper into uh, this uh, pattern into Tuesday of next week and then eventually into Wednesday of next week. So this again, a week from now, stopping the map here, the European model saying, yes, there is going to be extra rain around and maybe that surge of rain lifting up to the north. So models are in agreement with that. The European model hasn't really latched on though to the idea of a circulation developing or this becoming a tropical storm. But what is going to happen? I don't mean this in a scary way. What's going to happen this uh, year is we'll get these areas of rain around uh, and they could develop rather quickly just because those water temperatures are warm. But there are also other ingredients we watch out for. So the American model saying, yeah, this may be a tropical storm, maybe not, not sure yet. European model saying, no, looks like just a lot of rain moving in. This is going to be changing for days and days, and that's what I'll be tracking for you. So uh, the first ingredient that I'm looking at, the water, it is so warm. It's always warm as we work our way into June, July, August, September, and October, but these numbers are above average, and that's why if we get something building here, you see the water temperatures near Cuba and the Cayman Islands, 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit, it could really feed off of that. And that's why I do believe the models are seeing uh, this uh, potentially becoming an organized system, and that's why it has my attention. But on the flip side, I look at everything. It's not just the models. If someone's just looking at the models, they're going to be wrong uh, more times than not. It's what's going on in the atmosphere as far as uh, 
pockets of dry air, dust around. And this here is wind shear. This is the American model uh, by the time we get into Tuesday of next week. I know this map is crazy, but what it's showing is there's still going to be a lot of wind shear. So you think of wind shear, you see a, a hurricane or a tropical storm wants to build up those clouds. Winds, the wind shear would be winds that come across and just knock off those thunderstorm tops. So wind shear is a good thing. It doesn't really allow things to develop. So uh, we're going to see this area try to form, but it's also going to be fighting a lot of the uh, wind shear there, which is good. So even if there's development, it shouldn't be too quick. So point being, there's some ingredients in place now for development, some uh, that are saying this won't develop. And I don't know yet. This is a week in advance, but I tell you everything I'm seeing. I like to show you that Yes, this area has my attention. We will wait and see, and I do believe we're going to get a big surge of moisture right in this area. And over the next few days, I'll have a good handle on whether this will develop, and I'll be looking at a lot more than even just what we were talking about, and I'll be letting you know about that. Now, in the short term, so this is the spot we'll be watching. I'll dive into the forecast in a second. There is the tail end of some of this system that's kind of lifted up to the north. I was mentioning the tail end days ago, how that would clip us by, and it did. Some of us have been dry, but others have been getting dumped on, uh, and we had some heavier rain. Jamaica, we had that yesterday, but other spots, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago. We still need to get some more of that uh, rain in here, and we'll have some chances of that. Let me, here's the uh, Caribbean. So let me jump out here. You see Bahamas, get back toward Florida. Uh, still watching these tropical waves. Water temperatures a little bit cool out here, or relatively cool, or at least uh, not conducive for development. But these tropical waves, really healthy for this time of year to just see them trekking across. So we'll be watching these as they move closer to the Caribbean. No signs of development out of that area. Now let me zoom back down and go a little bit slower as far as the short-term forecast because that's important. Now, up here, Northern Caribbean, even up toward parts of the Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, not all of us are going to get rain, but where we get it, we've already had some rain, uh, we could see some flooding around again. So watching Puerto Rico, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, even over toward Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, it just really depends on where some of those showers and storms set up. Watching over toward uh, St. Martin, Saba, Stacia, Montserrat, scattered showers and storms still tomorrow. Watching out for some extra rain back toward parts of Central America. Really hope we could see this squeaking into Guatemala and Belize and Mexico. We have been so, so dry. Uh, as we get toward uh, parts of the Southeastern Caribbean, not as much toward Trinidad, but still watching the rain in Guyana and Suriname. And then this here on Friday, this is kind of the pattern that we're seeing. We're going to start to get more of these surges of moisture. So uh, as we get back toward the Cayman Islands, we'll see if that rain chance uh, gets uh, higher toward the end of the week and into the weekend. You see some of that rain uh, building, and then we'll see more surges of moisture, and then I'll be seeing if it uh, does develop and where it may go. Now, in the short term, I'm going to show you some of the rain totals, but please uh, take them um, with the, uh, the knowledge that uh, this could change a little bit because this is really tracking some of those areas of downpours. And yeah, they may be right here in Central uh, Dominican Republic or they could be in the Eastern Zone. So it's not a big batch of rain where it's a guarantee we're going to get rain. But point being, when you look at this map, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, uh, back toward uh, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, even Southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos, there are going to be areas of downpours and that's where we could see some flooding. Southern Bahamas, not so much northern and uh, central. So watching out for some batches of rain that will try to drop uh, 50 millimeters to 75 millimeters of rain or two to three inches of rain. Not as much though, Dominica South through Trinidad and Tobago, Spotty Shower, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines. We still need to get some rain in here. Not too much, more of it's been to the south. Guyana, we're gonna be watching out for that uh, flood threat in Suriname the next few days, tacking on an additional 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of surface rain and we're watching out for some moisture in Colombia and this is all tied together to what's going on in Costa Rica and Panama because while some of this moisture shifts to the Pacific side some of it also will lift up to the north and that's the spot I'll be watching for development this here zooming down into uh, northern Honduras as we get over toward uh, Belize uh, this here is promising this is a three-day rain total I think this is a little overdone this is a computer and I look at other stuff uh, I think this is a little bit too high, but this at least is giving me some hope that we are going to see some scattered showers around. So we are going to see the rain chance starting to go up in Belize and over toward the Yucatan of Mexico. Not much in much of Mexico right now. And you can see this kind of stream of moisture riding back through the Caribbean. No signs of development in the eastern Pacific at this time, although I'm watching rain. So it would just be an isolated storm in uh, Mexico as we go throughout the day. Scattered storms, you see them here in the U.S. But that system kind of moved off 
but still drawing in some moisture as we work our way back toward parts of the Caribbean. You see some of the thunderstorms that we could get in Cuba, for example, as we get into uh, later tomorrow, northern Venezuela, that chance of rain. And then as we get toward the end of the week and really the weekend and next week, we'll be watching this spot to see kind of what flares up. I'll go over the rain totals, the flood threat, and I'll be watching to see if it does try to develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm. So the rain totals making somewhat of a comeback in our southeastern uh, sections of uh, Mexico over toward Gu Guatemala and El Salvador. Up here for us in the Atlantic region of Canada, just some kind of spinning action. It is going to stay unsettled and we're going to eventually get a better chance of rain. Look what's coming out of here uh, as you get toward uh, Quebec over toward uh, northern New England or just New England itself. Uh, the uh, northeast, you see some of this rain that is pulling in here. So by Friday, especially later on Friday, it's going to get more active with a better chance of rain moving toward Nova Scotia in Newfoundland. So 40% chance in Jamaica of storms today, but this is a good sampling. While it's a 40% chance, I mean, some of us will get some storms, some of us won't. If you do, we could see some flooding. So let me know in the comments, locate the location and what you've been getting has been so helpful the last uh, few days. I do appreciate you doing that. And that's going to be the case in uh, the uh, Cayman Islands. But uh, later this week, Friday into the weekend, especially that rain chance will be getting higher. Spotty shower possible as we work our way to Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados and St. Lucia. Rain chance about 30, maybe 40 percent the next uh, couple of days. You see that in Grenada. We need some rain in Grenada. We need some rain. St. Vincent, the Grenadines rain chance stays about 20 to 30 percent in the short term. Martinique, a 40 percent chance today, a 30 percent chance today in Dominica. So that's gone down some from the last few days. Guadalupe, an isolated chance of a shower or storm. Next couple of days, just watching some of that moisture in northeastern Caribbean uh, back toward Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat. Let me know if you do get any showers. 40 to 50 percent chance Anguilla and and St. Bart's. Rain chance St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia about 40%. And still on the higher side, elevated side, some areas of flooding will persist again in Puerto Rico. We're going to get some downpours and watching that too. U.S. and British Virgin Islands watching the Bahamas, mainly the southern Bahamas for that chance of rain over toward the Turks and Caicos with scattered showers today and a 40 to 50% chance in the Dominican Republic and in Haiti with uh, isolated flooding and watching the rivers. Belize, at least we get this, that rain chance going up 30 to 40% by Friday, tracking that very carefully for us. Aruba, not only have we been mainly dry, Curacao and Bonaire, but we have been so very hot. Everything's kind of been up and around us. Guyana, watching out for areas of flooding. Suriname, watching out for areas of flooding, 60 to 70% chance of rain. Cuba, watching out for some storms around. Be mindful of some of the uh, lightning. Costa Rica and Panama, that higher chance of rain that we were talking about, higher totals. Nicaragua, about a 40 to 50% chance of rain. Next couple of days in Honduras, a 40 to 50% chance and watching a 40 to 50% chance at Guatemala and El Salvador. Some scattered showers and storms, especially on the Pacific side. Mexico City, only an isolated chance of a shower storm. And the Yucatan of Mexico rain chance will start to get higher Friday into Saturday. Northern Venezuela, 30 to 40% chance for today. And in Bermuda, uh, not a whole lot of action today. Could get a passing shower though. So monitoring the Caribbean for, for development, and we'll see how this kind of lifts up toward the Gulf of Mexico. As of now, nothing crazy, but watching it because we're going to see that area of rain building, the very warm water temperatures. I'll be covering that for you, those water temperatures more like July. So as changes evolve, as systems evolve, let's just take it storm by storm, and I'll get you the best information I could possibly get you as we track these systems. It's, it's going to be a long summer as far as tracking this stuff, but got you covered. So you don't worry about it. You let me worry about it, and you have a good rest of your day.